we are going to do a price review on Walgreens first. So Walgreens is interesting because I showed you, let's see, on the monthly charts, it's at a 30-year low. 30-year low, everybody. And yet it's not moving. See, since 1998, we have not seen 20 on Walgreens. So what are we doing on Walgreens? I do have Walgreens, by the way, and I'm losing money on Walgreens because I took it last year a little too early. So I like there's a huge dividend on Walgreens. This area, the age of the calculator at 17 to the 1950-2050 is where I want to buy uh, Walgreens. So ideally, the best price prediction and entry on Walgreens is 19 to the 2050. Sorry, 17. 0.5 to the 2050. This area assure pretty much that you will have a rebound on Walgreens at 25 to 32, which by the way, it's almost a double, you know, it's a 50, that would guarantee you in the next five years, 50% rate of return to 100% of return. And believe me, I don't like the word guarantee because nothing is guaranteed in this world of trading and investing, the company could go bankrupt. But it's fair to say that if you buy the 30 year low and they make one more low at that 17,525, you'll get a 50 to 100% return. Plus, I want to point out something on Walgreens. May I be, maybe uh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys. Uh, Walgreens has a, a, a very decent um, dividend as well. Look, if you go here, and you go WBA, uh, Walgreen has a, has a generous dividend, I believe. Uh, let me see, 4.4%. So it gives you the same rate of return that if you were putting your money into a high yield uh, money market, right? But at the same time, it's like a bond. I call that if you want to be wealthy and defer your taxes, it's like a bond. It's an expanding bond. What do I mean by that? Look. You have two choices as a conservative investor. You go to a bond and you have principal guaranteed. So this is why people like bond because your principal is guaranteed plus let's say 5% return. Here on Walgreens, here is what happened and I call that an expanding bond. Listen to that because that can change really the way you look at dividend stocks. Now I have a 30-year low entry in which I can do 50 to 100% probability of success. You know, actually I have a 77% chance of success that if I get the long Walgreens, and so especially between that 17.5 and that 20.5, the probability becomes higher and higher that I'm going to get a return between 50% to 100%. Plus, so look all the plus. Plus, I make the same 5% than if I had put it, so it's 4.48, very similar to the bond. So I stand a chance here to make at least 55% to 105% plus, plus this 5% is compounded every year, every year. Tax free or tax defer in your long term investment account or retirement account, better in your, your long-term investment account. Believe it or not, I do trade and swing trade in my IRAs, my 401k, and my defined benefit plan. Why? Because I can go in, out, in, out. There is no taxes. People do it the opposite. They do exactly the opposite of what they should do to accumulate real wealth. If you want real wealth, you should trade into your retirement account swing trading because you have no tax consequences. And then you should use your long-term taxable account to buy and hold. And that's what I do long-term on my uh, long-term accounts, which are taxable. So right now you have price entry on Walgreens, 20.5, 17.5, you have First line of exit, 25. Second line of exit, 32. I hope it was helpful. This was the price prediction and analysis for Walgreens.